Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Boxiest, and today we're going to continue the What If series. What if events had gone differently, and in this What If, we're going to change the history of Cobra Kai. What if Daniel joined Eagle Fang during the events of Cobra Kai Season 3, Part 2? If you haven't seen Part 1, I would recommend you go watch it before continuing this one. So in this timeline, the Eagle Fangs would continue training at Miyaido. Anthony would still bully Kenny in this timeline, so much like in the original timeline, Kenny would still go to Robbie, and those events would stay the same. Chris would still get Terry Silver in this timeline, Johnny would continue to train Daniel and Eagle Fang, Chris and Terry would still confront Daniel and Johnny at Miyaido, and Danny would be surprised to see Terry Silver after all these years. Danny would remember everything Terry Silver did to him, and he would still be afraid. So Daniel and Terry Silver would still talk, and those events would stay the same. Daniel would tell Johnny about the events of Karate Kid 3. Daniel would say how they needed to incorporate some Miyado elements into Eagle Fang. And at first, Johnny would be against it. He would tell him how Miyado beat Cobra Kai in the past, and that they could do it again. Johnny would eventually agree, as long as they mainly used offense, and only used defense as a last resort. Daniel would agree, so Daniel and Johnny wouldn't fight in this timeline, and they wouldn't go their separate ways. And much like in the original timeline, the Cobra Kai's would still get their revenge on Hawk, Eli would still come back to the Miyado Dojo, and everyone in Eagle Fang would be surprised to see Eli. Johnny would continue training his students in offense, while Daniel taught a little bit of defense. Sam would like Johnny's way of training, and Sam and Johnny would start to form a bond. Dimitri would want to convince Eli to come back to Eagle Fang, so Eli would rejoin Eagle Fang in this timeline. The events of Season 4 would continue. The night of the tournament, the night of the All Valley, Cobra Kai and Eagle Fang would compete. Eagle Fang would use a combination of offense and defense, and they would start winning their matches. Johnny and Danny would both coach the students from the beginning. Sam and Piper would fight, but Sam would be using offense from the beginning, and she would easily defeat Piper. Eli would still get his confidence back, and he would easily defeat Kyler. Miguel and Eli would still fight, but Miguel would still be injured. So Eli would advance to the finals, and he would fight Robbie. Eli would use offense from the beginning, and he would land a point against Robbie. Their fight would continue, but Robbie wouldn't be able to land a point against Eli. Their time would be up, and since the score was 1-0, Eli would defeat Robbie in this timeline without going in overtime. So Eli would be the boys all valley champion. Sam and Tori would fight, but Tori would get more aggressive, and Sam would have no choice but to use defense. So Sam and Tori would fight, but since the referee was paid off, Tori would defeat Sam. So she would be the girls all valley champion, and Cobra Kai would win overall. The season would end in a very similar way, Eagle Fang would be forced to shut down, Robbie would still go to Johnny in this timeline, and Miguel would still run away, Terry Silver would still betray Chris. Danny would still get chosen in this timeline, and Danny would decide to reopen Miyado now that Eagle Fang was shut down. And that is where I'm gonna end this what if. Thank you guys for watching, what do you guys think would have happened if Daniel joined Eagle Fang? during the events of Cobra Kai Season 3. Let me know in the comments below. YouTube lets me know the majority of you are not subscribed, so if you guys could subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.